Hi, this is Bill. So I created this uh, video because a lot of you has been struggling uh, regarding configuring email uh, regarding the ServiceNow PDI or personal developer instance. So basically, ServiceNow has stopped sending and receiving emails in the PDI due for the reason of uh, a lot of um, junk and phishing email has been using the developer instance. So a good blog here was created by Matthew. So I'm basically um, uh, recreating on this this um, blog of it. So basically um, to make things easier for everyone how to configure this. So the first step is to create an email. So he mentioned to create a, a Gmail account. So it could be anything, it could be Outlook. And in this example, in this demo, will be Gmail. So after creating uh, Gmail, so you will have to configure your pop and IMAP, right? So as you create, so simply all you need to do is um, navigate to settings, the gear icon here, then it will take you to see all settings. Then you need to navigate to this tab here and you either enable pop for all mail or enable pop for mail. So either the one will basically work. So after doing that, you get to save it. And the next step is you need to turn on the two-step verification. So after you um, turned on the two-step verification, either via uh, email uh, as your two-factor authentication or your SMS. So the last step basically that you need to do is um go to this URL and create a an app that will be allowed to be authenticated by Gmail. So once you click this link here, it will take you to this page, right? So it depends um how you would like to name your app, right? So after naming the app, it will produce a code. So you need to copy that code. Right, and after um, copying that and putting it in a small note, then you can now navigate to your developer instance. So let's navigate here. So um, I created under email account. So to get there is you go to under system mailboxes, email accounts, then you just navigate to um, um, and one of them. So, so uh, you create new and, and populate the necessary information. Right, so the code that you have put in a piece of paper, basically you just need to paste it here, right? And put in your email address. And um, pop is to basically receive, right? And and um, the next one is to send, SMTP is to send, right? So after you have successfully done the steps, right? So all, all you need to do is test connection and, and you're ready to go, right? So before before um, closing the call, I would like you to see as well the importance of the email properties, right, under system properties. So once you come in, you, get, you need to enable um, sending and as well as receiving, right? So this is my configuration. So it's pretty much straightforward. As you can see, it's self-explanatory. And so far, um, this has worked for me. All right, so I hope I managed to help you um, in this scenario uh, in, in setting up the email incoming and outgoing email in your personal developer instance. Thank you so much.